Hello, hello. Greetings, everybody. Welcome back to Pink Oddbird. I'm a couple minutes late because I was on my computer and apparently my computer has a different time than, than what the real time is, so sorry about that. But if you guys can hear me and see everything okay, let me know, please, if you, if you would. And then we can go ahead and get started. I have stuff literally everywhere. Hi, Daniela. Appreciate you guys all being here. I can see there's still people hopping on. I'll give it a couple minutes if you guys want to let me know if you guys can see me and hear me, and then we'll get started. I'm just going to start bringing some stuff over. Hi, Crafting with D Danina. Hey, Lynn. Okay, perfect. Thanks. <laughs> hey, Daniela. Okay, perfect. So you guys can see and hear me. That's great. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. So today, the reason why I have brought you all here to craft with me. If you guys are crafting, feel free to do what you're doing while I craft along with you guys or vice versa. <laughs> or if you just came to join in, that's totally fine too. The reason why I'm doing it this way is because as you know, so far this, this year, I have made a book every month that pertains to music as part of the Music Vault series. However, this month has been insanely busy, so I didn't have time to make the book. So my good buddy Shana suggested to me that maybe I should do a live craft with me that relates to the song that is going that was going to be for June. So the song, I will go ahead and tell you a little bit about that before we get started, is called Sending My Love. It is a 1994 song from the group, well, they're a duo, a duo called Jeanne and I don't know if you guys remember them it's from 94 they're from Philadelphia they had some other hits like hey Mr. DJ and summertime songs like that and they were part of a Queen Latifah unit and so this song sending my love is what is inspiring this craft with me that is going to dub as the music vault video for June so postcards to me are a neat way that you guys can send or that everyone can send little notes, send a little love over the seas even. Just a little something to let someone know that you're thinking of them, to let someone know you love them. And postcards have been around for ages. So I think that is a great example of sending your love over. So today, the idea that I had was, I'm sorry, I have to open the window because it's so hot today. Sorry, one second. I just closed it because there was so much noise outside a moment ago. So if you guys do hear the noise, I'm sorry, but the windows are open. So, uh, so today, what I want to do for this is, hey, Gracie is show you five different ways that you can make postcards. And so I tried to find like different ideas and different ways. Hey Shana, so that everyone would be able to make these no matter what you have on hand. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first idea that I had was, was doing art. So some kind of, <laughs> Hey Laura, some kind of a, any kind of really art inspired postcard is always super neat, whether it's you very talented people who can draw, you can draw something on a postcard, you can use your, your if you have children, you can scan their art and you can make postcards out of that. You can use acrylics, you can use acrylic scrapings, you can use the leftovers from any kind of mixed media that you're doing in your projects. And you can also do intentional art, like paint scrapes, things like that. But today what I was thinking is watercolor. So I'm not the world's best watercolor, <laughs> but I do have a little bit of water watercolors here. And so I thought maybe the first one that I would show you is the art style of postcard. 
And I was almost going to do this with my Distress Crayons, and then I kind of considered that maybe Distress Crayons wouldn't be the best idea. Maybe, I don't really know, because a postcard typically transports on its own just like this. So we know that Distress Inks are water soluble, so once they get wet, they move, and potentially, I guess, it could arrive to them plain. I don't, I don't really know, or really fade it out. So I decided against watercolors for this one. I mean, distress inks for this one. So I'm going to just try watercoloring a little bit of something. I don't, I'm not, like I said, Picasso or anything. <laughs> so, and honestly, you really don't have to be. Like you can just do a little something and it's all meaningful in the end. So I've got my water over here to the side and I'm just going to I've got my secondary water here. So I'm just gonna go into my colors. I think, I don't remember if I have these on the right way now. Remember you guys, I did this in one of the other Music Vault videos where I actually, there we go, where I actually put the colors on upside down because I'm a noob. But yeah, so I'm just gonna get some colors on here and I'm not going to try and be too particular about what I'm doing because well, that would take all the fun out of it, I think. Probably should have grabbed like the actual um, actual watercolors that I have, but this was really, it was local, so I just grabbed this. But so for postcards, there are different size variations that you can use. This size that I will be using today is going to be the four and a quarter by six and a quarter size, but these can all be different sizes all you have to go google is the standard sizes for postcards and the answers will come up for you okay so again i'm not trying to make any wonderful <laughs> earth shattering design here i'm just taking my watercolors different colors here and there and just popping them onto the page gonna clean my brush every now and then and I'll try to keep my eyes on the camera but I I do love chit chatting with you guys as you know I did a live video last night and thank you to all of you who joined me for that but I don't want to make you guys have to sit here forever <laughs> so I'm gonna try and keep my eyes on what I'm doing here but I will t take a look at the comments as much as I can These are Peerless watercolors if you're wondering what I'm doing. I am using Peerless watercolors and basically these are sheets. If you missed the uh, Music Vault where I used these, you can go back into the Music Vault and look for the watercolor series. That is where I used these initially. So as you can see, I think this is kind of good enough. Like it's super simple. It's just like something simple and you can say that you created this yourself. That's all I'm going to do for now <laughs> because we have to keep the show on the road. So I'm going to set my waters to the side and I'm going to move my watercolors. And let me show you. Of course, this is a little bit wet because we just did it. But as you can see, it's just a pretty simple watercolor design. And if you are much better than I am at watercoloring, then you can probably do something even better, like make some flowers or, you know, things like that. So, that is the first choice. I'm going to let this dry before we do anything else to it because I don't want to let it be wet while we're working on it. So that's why I chose to do this one first. So we'll come back to this while it sits over here to dry. And we're going to move on to the next type. So the next one that I thought of doing was here, I have some vellum. Hi, <laughs> hi Silver Foxy, glad you could jump on. So here I have some vellum. And as we all know with vellum, you can do so many different things. And what I have just done so far is I've cut this down to the size postcard I want to use. And you guys, you can actually use these postcards in the mail. you Or you can use them as, you know, additions to your journals. But my thinking for today is that you're actually going to use these and send them off in the mail. So what I have is some vellum. 
So what I'm going to do is I've cut this out to the four and a quarter by six and a quarter size that I want to use. And I've stitched around three sides of it. I'm not going to stitch the fourth side at this point in time, but I wanted to have it mostly done so that you guys could see how it looks. Um, so what I'm going to do for this one is I have uh, my ruler here. And the first thing that I'm just going to do is find the back. So this is the back. I'm going to draw. You can use pen, gel pen, or here I have a, um, a pit artist pen in black. I'm just going to just draw a rough line in the center. Okay, and then here on the side, I'll do my three lines for the address. One, oops. Hmm. You can use Sharpies on this too. It probably would be better. There's one. My lines are jaggedy because once I was using this and <laughs> I thought I was on the metal side of the ruler and I wasn't, so I messed my ruler up. But I don't draw many lines. I usually just use it for measuring, so it's mostly okay. All right, so there's three lines. So you know that your address goes here, and then you know that your little message or note is gonna go here. Now on the front side, what I'm just gonna do is take, I have somewhere, I have this, and I've got some punches here. Maybe you can see these. I have some scraps somewhere over here. And then I have my Martha Stewart punches here. So what I'll just do is punch out a few. This is a great way to use your scraps up too. I'm gonna punch out a few butterflies in different sizes. So we have the small ones and then I have this little, I don't know, it's like a little, I don't know what this is called. <laughs> but I'm just gonna punch some of these out. Sorry for the loudness, let me move away. A couple of those. You can use any punch that you have, really. And then I want to put in one of these butterflies, I think, because they're bigger. So maybe like this one. It's kind of funny that this actually says postcard on it. <laughs> and then I'm just going to fussy cut this. You guys can actually even just take scrapbook paper like this. Like this one is a glossy scrapbook paper. Totally fine to use as a postcard. <laughs> like it can be even simpler than everything that we're doing. But if you want to just put a little bit of effort into it, you can just do some of these, one of these, or all of these five ways that I'm showing you. So I'm just going to roughly fussy cut this. When I fussy cut, I like to do it with a, a little bit of a border around the actual image, usually depending on what the image is. And I, I do have fussy cutting scissors somewhere, but <sighs> heaven knows where those are. Okay. All right, and then I have this piece here. So I think I'm gonna do a couple more of the, the big Martha, Martha, Martha Stewart. I don't know why I always want to say Martha. Martha Stewart. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to punch through this actually because this, yeah, this chip, this card stock is insanely thick. So we'll just go back to this and do some out of this one, a couple of them. All right. And then if you guys have glitter, you could pop glitter in here. If you have some sequins, you can pop those in, but all I'm gonna do is put my butterflies and such in facing the front where you would normally see like the image of the postcard. Pop these in and how cute would it look if you did add some sequins in and some glitter? I think that would be so cute. So once you do that, oh, let me shake it off the camera because you guys are gonna get dizzy. <laughs> Spread them out, shake them up. And then this is what you have. 
So all I'm going to do once I get off camera is sew up the top piece. Maybe I'll pop some of my glitter in, but as you can see, you have really pretty see-through postcard. And then I would just use like a, a Sharpie, a thin Sharpie or a gel pen to write your note here. So that is option number two. So I think our postcard, oops, I forgot one. <laughs> I think our postcard is dry now, or our watercolor postcard is dry. So same thing with this. This watercolor, you can do the watercolor on both sides if you want, honestly. But the watercolor paper is durable enough to, to not have to be doubled up with anything in order for it to be shipped. I think it's strong enough. So you don't have to worry about backing this with anything. So I'm going to draw my line here. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm not going to use this pen because it is not liking me. <laughs> Just gonna use a good old-fashioned ballpoint pen can never go wrong with those right and then I'm just gonna get my three lines over here the key with postcards is you don't want them to be too thick and you don't want them to be bulky so those are some important things to remember when you're making these if you're shipping them not too bulky because then they're gonna be like this is a package all right, so we have this, and let me see. I have some of these pretty little things, and maybe we can make like a little, a little something, something. Oh, slap some of these down onto. You can use whatever you have. You can use stickers if you do die cuts and things like that. I think the bicycle is kind of cute. Maybe back it with, I don't know, some book page maybe. See how that might look. Kind of. Maybe put it in the center. Maybe it needs a little bit. Maybe I need to distress this. <laughs> This is the part that's where all the, the real creativity comes in because it's really just up to you what kind of design you want to have on the front of yours. I would just make sure you read your book page to make sure <laughs> nothing weird is on it. So I think that's better. And then, um, maybe I'll do... What am I doing? I'll distress this just to make it stand out a little bit more also. Let's do that. And then I, I still feel like it needs something else. I don't know what. I don't know, you guys. Maybe I'll come back to this one also. But <laughs> if this was the what I was going to leave it as, this would be one idea. I do feel like it needs something else. I just don't know what, maybe a word, a sentiment, something like that would help it out. Oh, well, hello, April. Good morning. Put the bike to the right a little. And then look, I also found, voila. Okay, so maybe like this. something like that and then just glue it all down so I think that that looks pretty good what do you guys think <laughs> think I'm okay with that and then let me see and then what you can maybe do is uh, Let me see, let me see what we have here. This is always the part that takes me forever, the part where you have to kind of just figure out what the frick frack you're doing. Um, I feel like maybe some a little flower something something would be cute right there. Thank you, Bobby. Maybe, ooh, no, that doesn't match. I need something purple. Oh, here we go. 
Ah, this is perfect. Okay. So, something like that, maybe. And then I would think I need to distress these to make it even. Even Steven. I don't know. I don't know if I should take the time to glue these down right now, but you guys get the idea. So, this, this is what this one would be like. So once it's all glued down, it's going to be nice and flat. If you want to add some extra flair, you can stitch around this. Down just yet, but I will later, I promise. And then let's move on. Oh, so we've done an art postcard. We have done a... Um, a vellum postcard. Now the next thing is I have, hey Kara. All right, great. I'm glad you guys liked it. <laughs> I have LaCroix box here. So if you guys drink like LaCroix or anything like that, you can use these. And I have another one here, which I think is pretty cute. If I don't tear it all weird. Cereal boxes, you can use records, you can use just cardstock like I showed you before. Um, I wrote something else down. I don't know what it is though. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, that's it. So I have this other one here, which I did tear it kind of weird, so yay me. So what I want to just do with this one is I'm going to cut both of these down really quick. I'm just stepping right here to the side to do that. So I'm going to cut them down to the measurements. done this part sooner but like I said I ran out of time so there's that one and then here I tore this one all weird that's kind of annoying but that's okay actually matter so like I said if you have cereals or things like that you can do this with those kinds of boxes as well but so I've cut these two out and then all I'm gonna do with these is my corner punch these ones will be rounded and actually that's where I tore it kind of weird but it may yeah doesn't even matter all right, so now we have, <laughs> as you can see, I like to drink <laughs> soda water. <laughs> All right, so this is even even easier. Uh, you can leave this just how it is, and then on the back, you draw your lines, and then voila, you have a postcard. So I think these are kind of funny, kind of neat. If you have some neat cereals like Honey Bunches of Oats or something like that, I think they would make, make neat postcards if you did them that way. So that is that part. Now, let, let's move on. Let us go into book page. So for the book page, okay, so let me go. This, this is just a plain piece of 65 pound cardstock. I'm just gonna cut this down quickly because I should have done all this sooner. But who likes to be prepared? So I'm gonna cut this one down. Four and a quarter by six and a quarter. All right. All right, so we have that. 
And then I have a, this is the first page I've ever torn out of my Edith Holden book. <laughs> and I'm going to turn it into a postcard. So I've cut my, my cardstock down and I'm going to find, like you can use whatever piece of this you want to use, however you want to, but I want the bird. So what I'm going to just do is take my glue stick maybe <laughs> glue around the edges I again I'm probably gonna sew on mine and it's just faster for me to do it this way for now but if you guys aren't sewing please glue it down better <laughs> that might help it okay and then make sure you burnish it down Okay, and then all I'm just going to do is cut the excess off of this. Oh, I love making my life. Oh, I love it. making my life hard. <laughs> it's, it's so much fun. Yeah. One more side. Okay. Wait. There we go. And voila! So with this one, I think I would, I do think it would look better with the rounded corners. And then you can even take some of the leftovers from the, from the book page and add it to this postcard if you want to. And then again, just like we did on the others, draw your line, draw your address lines, and then there's space for your note. Okay, and then of course we did we did leave space for a stamp here also. So that is the book page way. I think these are pretty neat because it is going to be July soon. So if you wanted to ship this out in July, I think that would be kind of neat to add a little piece of this to there. But for now, that is our book page. Thank you, Shana. Thank you. Hi, Christina. Hey, Stacy. How's it going? So that's our book page. Okay, so that's that. Now, you can also do the same thing if you have uh, just regular book pages. If they don't have images on them, you can collage on them. And you can use music paper as well. Yes, I, I finally, I have two Edith Holdens. And how bad is it that I have two but still had no courage to tear the pages out of either one? Okay, <laughs> so I did this for you guys. It's the music vault and I did it for you guys. I did it for the music. All right, now the next one, I'm going to take another piece of cardstock that I of course didn't cut down beforehand because why would I have? <laughs> and Yeah, they're hard to, they're really hard to do, to tear. <laughs> I have to go on the other side really quick and cut this. But with the other cardstock that we used, it was 65 pound because we were layering that in between the book pages. But for this one, I'm gonna use a heavier cardstock. This one is more, I think this one is about 100 pounds, something like that. 100 or 110, I can't remember. But, so I have my piece cut out here. And the next style that I was thinking of doing is, I think I went around the corners on this one too. <laughs> I don't know. No, we'll leave it. We'll leave it. We'll leave it. So the next thing I'm going to do is try fabric. So I have this little that I got from Miss Shana and her son and I love this so much and I think it's it would make the perfect hi ooh la la la, la. <laughs> I think it would make the perfect postcard and I think what would actually make it even better is if I do take this because it's kind of sheer I'm just going to roughly tear it just like that and uh, I guess I'll distress it a little bit
Anybody else crafting today? What are you guys up to out there? So I'm going to actually, I'm glad I did save this. I'm going to glue this down with my glue stick. I know I'm moving a little bit fast, you guys, but. Oh, guys. No, I'm here. Sorry. I don't know why, but it cut off. I, I hope you guys are can still see me here. Sorry about that, everybody. I don't know why that happened. But I was in the middle of saying something and I looked at the camera and it was and you guys were gone. Okay, you can see me, Gracie. I'm back, sorry. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I was in the middle of talking to you guys and then the whole thing just shut down. What I was saying is I'm gonna use this fabric that I got from Shana and I was asking you guys what you were up to out there, but I see you guys are chit-chatting about Dith Holden. So, oh, and what I was saying is I know this, I'm going a little bit fast in this video, but if you guys wanna watch this back, it is real time, so if you wanna make these along with me, you can pause as you go. I'm What I'm doing right now is since this is sheer, I'm letting my OCD <laughs> find a spot where it actually says, where you can see that it says July. And I found it. Oh, I wanna see what Danina just said. Jeannie. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I love, that's a great idea. So all I'm gonna do is take my glue stick and hold this fabric down temporarily because of course I'm gonna sew it. And, and then I will, um, and that's what's gonna hold it down, you know, permanently. But this fabric is nice and flat and lightweight Sorry for the shake there a bit. Now I'm just gonna cut this out roughly. I don't really cut too close to the to the card until after I stitch it because I feel like you need to give yourself a little leeway. Okay. All right, one more piece. Again, like I said, at the end of this, I'll do all the stitching and the and the gluing down. Anything that I didn't do on camera, I'll do that at the end, and I'll post all these on my Instagram. So if you guys want to check these out later on, you can hop over to Pink Oddbird on Instagram, and I'll have them posted there. Or if you follow me on Facebook, they'll be posted there as well. But this one is super neat. As you can see, it's got the Edith Holden book page behind it, and then you can see the little word July there, and then you can see little tidbits of the other words of the book page. So this one's actually really neat, and once it's all stitched, um, it's going to look pretty awesome, I think. So that is your fabric postcard. The other idea that I had with these is you could also, you could also take a thin, lightweight fabric that isn't sheer, and you can actually put, instead of like a book page, you can actually put... A little thin layer of batting in here and then thinly put your piece of lightweight fabric over that and then you can give yourself a little quilted design however you want to do that and then you can back it with another piece of cardstock or coffee stained paper or whatever you want to back it with but that's another idea to give yourself like a quilted a, a sort of quilted postcard so I think that's a really neat idea also if you're super crafty, you can <laughs> use your stitch to maybe do a letter from the person, the person who you're sending it to, their first letter of their name or something. I think that would be so cute. Okay, so that's that's our fabric postcard. All right, the last one. <laughs> it's probably going to be my most challenging one, and I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to do it right. So, but we'll see. <laughs> It's going to be definitely an adventure. 
and I saved it for last because it, it's going to be the hardest and probably take me the longest. Oh, actually, no, I didn't know that the postcard stamps were a little bit cheaper. I didn't know that. All right, so what I have here is a little bit of Tim Holtz packaging. <laughs> so with this, uh, you can actually take this and alter it, gesso it, do things to it, and make it a postcard as well. Just saying. But what I'm interested in right now is this little outer piece. So what I'm going to do with this is just cut it open, kind of like when you butterfly a chicken. <laughs> We're going to butterfly this plastic. All right. I'm going to, this is the little flap that goes over, you know, to keep it all closed. I'm just gonna snip this off. And the actual size of this packaging, this is the packaging for these, for these little die cut pieces here. It is the packaging for that. So it's oversized for the size of, you know, I'm doing four and a quarter by six and a quarter postcards. And I'm okay with that. I, I already know that I'm gonna cut this down in the end so I'm totally fine with it so what I'm gonna start doing is <laughs> is gluing things gluing things down and putting some things in place and and how we can get ourselves a clear or see-through postcard oh I forgot to say um Oh my gosh, can you guys see me? Because it just shut off again. I need to go fast, quick, fast, and in a hurry. So what I'm just gonna do is start putting some pieces of washi down here and there. So I got that. And then, okay, you can see me. Hey Priscilla, I didn't even know you were here. this piece here we'll do another I don't know why I'm doing this on both sides someone tell me why I'm doing this on both sides <laughs> I don't need to do it on both sides I guess you could but I think no I think no 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 creeper that creeper life okay so let's just do it like that and then what I'm gonna do is take Mm. Oh, I forgot to grab one thing. One sec. Got to have my double-sided tape here. And where's my burnisher? Oh, you're behind? I don't know why. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm almost done here, you guys. You can have your day back. I got my double-sided tape there. I'm just gonna take a piece of this ribbon and stick that down. I think I might do another piece, something like this. Take some more ribbon. And then I have maybe a piece of a doily. How's that maybe? Let's just cut it in half. And where's my glue stick? Let's just let's just try and get it right here. <laughs> I don't know how the glue is gonna look uh, in the end, but we'll see. <laughs> thank you Bobby okay so that's that piece and then um, I did have this and I thought it would look pretty neat in here Ooh. but if I put this in I feel like I won't be able to put much else but let's see YOLO I'm just cutting it down a little bit 
And I think I will. I'm just going to take a little bit of glue stick here and there to let it stick to something. And then I'm just going to drag it until I like the way it looks. Okay. And then I want to take some kind of... Mm, let's see what Tim, Tim and Tim has. Ooh, that's too big. I didn't even know that was in there. Sheepers. Go back inside. Maybe something with yellow and pink? No? Nope, 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 nope. Um, oh, freaking frack. This piece. The thirst. Oh, you know what? Maybe, maybe it keeps coming out for a reason. <laughs> maybe I'll just do this. <laughs> Voila. You see, sometimes when things want to be seen, you got to just see them. That, that kept getting in my way for a reason. <laughs> I do believe. I do declare. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna glue this baby down. And I do wanna add one more little chomping chomping. Thank you, Daisy Cutter. Appreciate it. I'm sorry if I'm missing anyone's comments. A banner, oh yeah, thank you. Amphiest, a banner. A banner and then I have let's see I have, what color banner should I do <laughs> um, 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 how about just like oh my gosh I can't think I'm trying to go so fast oh here I have something white this white or cream maybe cream and distress which wording I'm not sure which wording. <laughs> Maybe I'll, I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to tear this. Tear it down a little bit. And I think I tore it too small, but that's okay. I'm going to figure it out. And I'm going to distress it. I feel like, you know, um, on Chopped, <laughs> how they have to, like, cook whatever is in their basket in, like, 30 minutes? That is is a literally me. <laughs> literally me. And then I think ugh, I think well this could also be the little place where you put someone's name, but that's not what I want to do. I'm going to I'm going to do something else and you'll see. You can also just put something in like this before you seal it down or 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 I'll show you something else <laughs> hi go go good morning wow morning out there the sun's up over there I thought the sun was here still um I mean I not not I thought the sun was here I mean I can see <laughs> I can see that the sun is here I'm gonna choose the sticker from Tim Holtz it says everyday words because this is just like a little everyday kind of thing that you would send to someone. Distress it lightly. Put that down. Okay, so this is what it's looking like so far before I seal the deal. I'm going to slowly close that. And I think even... What, wait, wait, what does my brain want to tell me right now? What do you want, brain? I think me thinks me wants to add a little bit of tape just just because I think I don't really know but I think I do <laughs> to help it stay closed a little bit yeah maybe I don't know all right well anyway 
I can't think about this all day. I have to be done soon. It's almost been an hour and I don't want the thing to cut out again. So the next thing that I'm going to do, to do is to take my packing tape and we're just going to seal this. Oh gosh, that's going to be annoying. Seal this up as, as biased as you can. And this is going to, ugh, sorry, not only seal it, but it will also like protect it if you send this in what might be a rainy time. Yeah, I agree, Kara. And it looks like this one is going to take three pieces of tape. And then don't forget, I am going to go back in and cut this down um, a little bit. these over because like I said this is all going to get cut down and once I cut it down I'll go back in and make sure that the edges are sealed off and then I want to do the same thing to the back I won't do it on camera because I know that sound is annoying but I am going to run tape across the back just the same and then the next thing would be to cut this down a little bit so that it's a little bit more sizable for you know being a postcard and glue finish gluing everything down and then I would like to also tell you that you can just you can stick it on the back your paper scrap paper where are you come through scrap papers <laughs> to write your little notes um, on the back of this postcard and then when you're ready to put your stamp on after you get it cut down I would also suggest taping a piece of this under or over and so that you have a clear way for your stamp to show through so as you can see we have a nice pretty see-through packing tape sealed postcard <laughs> so yeah and like I said this back it'll be you can de decorate the back too if you want it to show through somehow, but I would, I mean, like you're probably going to want to write something, I'm assuming. So your scrap papers are going to, are going to fill this backspace up with their, so that you can also put their address and your note. And then don't forget, like I said, you want to add something here. Yes, make sure you don't cover the stamp with tape. But just do make sure that you have a piece where the stamp can show clearly. All right. So that is going to wrap it up for the five styles of postcard. So we have our see-through postcard. Let me show these to you. I hope I don't have too much stuff in the way. There's the see-through. Again, I will post all these on... Um, on this one, I think I want to. I would. I would also say once you, once you, you, I'm gonna stitch this, but I also think it would look nice with a little bit of like ragged script stamping here and there. And then I'm gonna stitch around the edges of that one. But that's our fabric postcard, so you can see I just did that, and then I'll distress it with the ink afterwards. But that's the fabric postcard, and then we have our. Oh, reach. We have our, our Belarm <laughs> postcard. And this is the pretty one where you can kind of see through the little butterflies and punch outs that we did. And then on the back is where you write your note and the address, of course. And this is the standard. Just draw three lines, you know, for your address, a line, and then put your note over here. So that's the vellum postcard we have our easy peasy ones and you can color these you can do whatever you want with these but these are simple and everybody has like cake boxes cereal boxes drink boxes things like that that you can use 
and it's pretty cute and like I said it would be really cute if you find ones that have like maybe you bought a box of uh, paydays and you you can use the box cover to that and let it say payday or honey bunches of oats or anything like that super cute postcard idea and then we also have our book page our Edith Holden book page postcard so that one's there and then we also have our one that I still need to glue down but this is our watercolor postcard and we did do this one on watercolor paper and just collaged a little bit on the front so these are it guys <laughs> I can't believe it was a miracle even with the two little interruptions I had I was able to get this done in an hour it's a disaster here I'll tell you that much that's for sure um, but yeah so which one of these is your favorite if you like any of these or if you intend to try any of these leave a comment in the description box below have you heard the song sending my love before I think it's hour with me where I can't believe I got all this done but <laughs> the butterfly one is your favorite Gracie yeah that little vellum one I think with the vellum one I'll also since it's colorful on the inside and plain I think I'm gonna distress this one with a colorful distress ink I think that would be kind of cute but yeah, so these are it. I'm going to finish these up off camera. Later on today, I will go ahead and post these. The bird one is your favorite. <laughs> awesome. All right, you guys. So I appreciate you guys all for being here again. I'm going to go ahead and go. Be sure to stay tuned because you never know what direction this odd flock of ours is heading into. And until next time, toodaloo.